In a previous tip, we showed you that if you hover over a particular command in the menu bar at the top, it gives you the shortcut for the command in brackets just underneath it. If I hover over a command and it doesn't have the brackets, it means it doesn't have a dedicated shortcut. However, all is not lost. If I'm wanting to use my keyboard instead of a mouse to select that, I can use my Alt key code to select any menu item across all my menus within Excel. So pressing the Alt key gives me corresponding letters for each of the ribbon items. Um, and most of the time they try and make sense. For example, Home is the H key and File is the F key. So if I press H, it then in turn gives letters corresponding to each and every command within my ribbon. If I wanted to put borders on here, I would then select um, the B for borders and you can see here that all borders is A. So if I press escape to go back through that and select my entire range here, control A, which has a dedicated shortcut, to add borders to that now, I just press Alt, H, B, and A. And I've got borders added. And you might think there's quite a few keys to press, but you can get pretty quick at this. Um, so I don't know if you noticed that the no borders was N for no borders. And so if I do that very quickly, it puts text off the borders and you don't even see what keyboard shortcuts I've selected. So that is Alt H B N. And you can see the borders have been removed. So if there's a particular shortcut icon which you're using frequently, um, it's very good to remember the three letter or two letter combination which will use the Alt key codes um, to perform that shortcut, still a lot quicker than using your mouse.